Hey folks, just a quick video. I uh, received the uh, protection boards yesterday. Uh, that's one of them. We've just got a spare one just in case uh, something happened. But um, you'll notice the this resistors here or here. Pretty sure they're resistors. Um, yeah, some have different numberings on them, and maybe some of the, anyway. But yeah, <clears> there's <throat> probably slightly different, you know, regulators or whatever the things are there. But basically, yeah, it's supposed to uh, balance um, what do you call it? Um, So yeah, yeah, help help with charging. So it's supposed to balance charge. Um, so it's just yeah. So basically, you can discharge and and just uh, overcharge protection sort of thing. So and and it has the balancing sort of thing on it. Um, obviously, I got it for three S. Uh, it comes shipped with the. Uh, the short across sort of thing set up for um set up for the 3s because apparently you always go to the b plus but you know you can maybe try taking it out and shifting everything across and doing it as per as per number so you know b1 b2 b3 so bank one bank two on bank three um yeah so that's that one the other ones are pretty much the same i've got sort of hooked up over here oops light's a bit cactus you know to see but yeah you can see the different numbers r 3 and whatnot but um yeah, the uh, what's it called? Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, it's got like a charge input. Yeah, I'm obviously, you know, hooks up according to diagrams. Obviously, C, C minus, so charge minus. And the plus goes to the battery plus, obviously the last cell, or last bank, battery minus, and discharge out, so power out, that way. Um, so what I find odd is this one doesn't have, um, uh, what do you call it? You know, some of the boards have power plus, power minus, um, or charge minus, charge plus, battery plus, battery minus. Obviously, battery minus, battery plus. So obviously, that side of things is obviously balancing. Uh, one side. Uh, seven, seven are for charging. The seven, eight are for discharging. It can charge a layer or a layer. According to the description, uh, sixty up to sixty amps charge, but the hundred amp supposedly is uh, for. Uh, protection, the over the, the current protection sort of thing. So if it gets up to um, you know near enough to a hundred, but I, I very much doubt it if you'd be putting that much in. Um, I think that's even on the discharge side. So if you go up to discharge up to a hundred amp, that protection part of it comes in. And so yeah, you can discharge 
will charge 60 amp, but on the back, I've had some people, see some people say, they had some copper, or add some, you know, like a heat sink type thing. Um, I've seen some go across there on the dotted bits, but it doesn't make sense. I would probably do it on the, the flat strip. But a yeah, little bit more research, but I'd say the flat strip, as that would make more sense um, to do that. Um, so yeah, this, this one's obviously only just a spare one, but the other one, I've had two LEDs, I even, might even be able to show you just quickly, the LEDs on the board, um, you, the camera might get it, um, but the two furthest LEDs might flash. Like that, and so the LEDs come up when the well, one video I've seen reckons you know when it's under under voltage or when it's when the protection's on, but I don't know. I mean, obviously under load when you switch something on, it's come on. Um, and then when the when the battery gets low or the bank gets low in charge, so low in capacity, low in juice, not necessarily voltage, but low in juice, that those LEDs come on. So when the capacity in them, is, so in other words, when the grunt and capacity in them is low or lowish. Or appears to be low. Um, yeah, they they light up sort of thing. So that and they're they're pretty much the only LEDs that are on it that, are, that I'm aware of. So who knows? Um, as far as I know, um, so I've just got a battery hooked up type thing. But that doesn't sort of I don't know whether that sort of does anything um yeah so i mean even without the battery hooked up on the charge side the balance side because it's just a board my suspicions are that there's actually three circuits as such on the board obviously because the board says charge protection balance charge so when things balance out um it does its thing within all the circuitry um you know to lower voltage and then because of when i've got the uh, other charges just on the battery as per normal the voltages are still so the this board will supposed to drop it drop drop if it needs to drop it at whatever rate it can do i think it's i think it's only a few hundred milliamp or something like that um but it drops it and obviously then then the, the other charger charges back up again so um this board could just be constantly dropping one one cell and just dropping one cell while the others charge up um i think that's the theory um not a hundred percent sure on where to sort of put the board eventually um but yeah because i've got 60 or 60 amp charge controller um but <clears throat> if only if only i'm if only i can use the balance side of things it means that my charge controller will charge it and this board balances it 
but I've tried having the charger on from the charge controller and it just comes up starts starts to starts to um starts to charge or barely starts to charge and comes up an alarm because it sees a circuit board and not a battery um so that may be a bit of an issue with uh these particular sort of things there's obviously various different other various different boards around um so with those particular boards i'd imagine you'd probably you know just use the right dc power supply with the right amp right amount of amps in for that particular board and battery pack and all that sort of stuff so yeah uh, but yeah just got it on the on here so it doesn't sort out on me power supply or anything underneath um because yeah it is just metal underneath so at this stage i need to probably find something to mount it in or we'll see if there's a case for it um online i mean i've only found one other bloke um on youtube that only posted recently um as well in there so at this stage um yeah until i till i get a like a, a power supply to it um because even, even with the battery it does i had it on last night yeah, twelve six from the battery still was twelve six this morning, so um but yeah, so um but yeah, I mean obviously I can you can hook up, you know you know the P negative and the obviously on there and then that'll you know, that's that's your load sort of thing. Um, like a discharge thing, but I'm not sure if that clicks on when one of them, one of the cells gets up, or if that's you know directly, you know, the 12 volts. Um, as far as I know, it's the 12 volts, so it just it'll drop anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure if something's got to click in or sort of. Something's got to set something off for it to for one of the cells to dis discharge, or if it discharges anyway, if something's connected to it. Um, there's not much else I sort of know what can work out. Um, but yeah, his his videos will show yeah the voltage drop and all that but I mean I didn't record it this morning <coughs> um, uh, that you know because it's a bit hard to record you know something on a multimeter or the I mean that's the little controller at the moment one pack um, is well, it's actually been dropping, well, I've turned on the inverter a couple of times, but it was about 4.2, 4.2.3 or something. Um, so, yeah, just from flicking the, the inverter on, it's, you know, dropped down a little bit. Um, but I've just got the charger on the other two packs. Um, the, well, this pack, pack one, pack to pack three and well, I'll need to go work and go get some more money and buy some more cells and whatnot. Um but yeah, so so pack three operates a bit differently to pack packs one and two, um as far as voltage and capacity. Um because obviously capacity is not there as much as the other two. But and the, uh, so obviously yeah the other one 
factory is pretty much full as far as capacity, just about. According to this thing, which many people probably have. 388, 3396, 3871, 3986, 382, 84, 82, 84. So it's charging it. <coughs> it's charging at 6, 6 amps for those two packs. Um, so six and <coughs> six amp at eight point three. Um, <coughs> obviously is about just under fifty watts or something like that, which is nothing. Really, <laughs> so yeah, it takes a bit. Um, so obviously, yeah, voltage needs to come up. Before capacity, I think from memory. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It all ends up working itself out. Anyway, so that's a bit of an update. Um, but yeah, I was waiting for those for a little bit. Um, See so yeah, if, if they if they balance out. I mean, obviously one pack was only up to four two before, but once um, once that one, but that charged. Um, cuts out, um, cuts, it's supposed to cut out when it's full anyway, so, um, so yeah, I might not see the effect of that one yet, um, but yeah, so, alrighty folks, uh, yeah, sorry for the long video, but, um, that's the status, I'll, uh, catch you on the next one, cheers.